In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the built-in electronic sounds within Superior Drummer 3 to create big ambient buildups for your productions. In the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to select Add Instrument, and we'll choose Search for Instrument. I'm going to browse down and choose this ambient sound 14, and we'll go ahead and add that in. We'll add another instrument, and we're still in the Superior Drummer 3 preset sounds list. I'm going to add this modular snare number four. Now both those sounds are big and aggressive sounds and we can manipulate them in a variety of ways to get these big ambient buildups. Now let's go into the mixer and we have our X ambient and X snare channels and let's go ahead and start adding effects to manipulate the sound. We'll start with the ambient sound so this is the ambient sound number 14 and first we'll add a spring reverb and I'll go ahead and make a few adjustments here. I've added pre-delay. We are turning down the brightness knob just a bit. We turn down the tension all the way and we are increasing the wet knob. So we have a little bit of reverb happening already. Next we'll add the dimension T to add some chorus and we'll press all of the buttons down. We're going to add another reverb effect. We'll use the Hall Reverb. And I'll make quite a few adjustments here. I'll actually turn down the reverb time just a bit. We will not use a pre-delay. But I'm going to increase the size to 100%, increase the shape just a bit, and increase the diffusion and the high knobs all the way. And then we will increase the dry-wet mix to 45%. So this will add a lot of reverb to the sound. Now that's a great sound in and of itself, but I want to make a couple more adjustments just to fine tune it a bit more. We're going to add the creative filter and we can use this to roll off different frequency ranges. Here I want to roll off a bit of the high end so that we have more of the low end frequency information. And I could adjust this any way I want, but I actually like the default settings so we will run with that. Now because we're dealing with some of that lower frequency information and now with all of this reverb and all the effects we've added, this ambient effect has the potential to get in the way with the lower sub frequencies. So I wanna make sure I deal with that by adding an EQ and rolling off some of that low end information. Again, this will allow us to use this big ambient sound without it becoming overbearing. Let's go ahead and move on to our second sound, which is the modular snare number four. And here we'll just add a couple effects. We'll add a hall reverb. We'll use the default state. We'll just increase the dry wet mix to 40, 45%. And then we'll add another reverb. We'll add a plate reverb and we'll leave this in the default state as well. Now both of these sounds are pretty aggressive, so I'm actually going to lower the volume on both of them. For this modular snare, we'll lower the level by 6 dB. And for the ambient sound, ambient 14, we'll lower it a couple dB. And both of these sound great, however, I want more of a fade in, more of a reverse sound. So I'll use the reverse parameter within Superior Drummer 3. So with the ambient sound 14 selected, I'll enable the reverse function. And that actually sounds all right, a very fast reverse sound, but I want it to last longer. So we'll increase the reverse dial to 2000 milliseconds. And now we have a very long and interesting sounding ambient reverse sound. Let's move on to the snare drum. We'll make a few adjustments here. The first thing I want to do is change the tuning. And we're going to bring it down quite a bit. So we have a much lower pitched modular snare sound. Which actually sounds great with all of the reverb effects that we added. Next, we'll go ahead and do the reverse effect and we'll max this out at 2000 milliseconds, just like we did with the ambient 14 sound. 
So we have a nice reverse sound, but it starts a bit abruptly and ends a bit abruptly. So I'm going to fix that by using the envelope and offset. I have some settings I've already put in. We have an attack of about 15 milliseconds, decay of 50 milliseconds, sustain of about 80%, and the release is about 300 to 325 milliseconds. So this will make the reverse come in a bit smoother, and then we won't have that sharp ending at the end of the sound either. So we have a nice swell in, nice decay, enhanced by the effects that we added in the mixer. So there's a couple ways that you can use the built-in electronic sounds within Superior Drummer 3 and utilize some of the mixer effects and the envelope tuning and reverse parameters to create big ambient sounds that you can use for buildups within your productions.